And what time is my gemstone? Is this box video? Nine. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. We are live. And let me find my video on Facebook so I can answer your questions and see your comments. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Isn't that a song? Yeah, okay. And there we go. All right, guys. This is the Makerversary. If you haven't seen my other videos today, I did one announcing the Makerversary, announcing the bundles available, and my special code where you are entered in to win a premium access subscription for one year. So if you purchase the Maker Bundle, the Rose Bundle, or the uh, Champagne Bundle, with my code, you're automatically entered in to win. Cricut is sponsoring that giveaway. And then if you have missed out on the event in this group, if you're watching on Facebook, because the replay will be on YouTube later, uh, what was I going to say? In this group, we're going to have uh, more giveaways. We just had a paper giveaway, picked four winners. We will do another giveaway later on. Hi, Summerella. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Mary, Karen, Lisa, Bonnie, Bobby, and Day. Thanks for coming. Um, first, I'm going to tell you about the next videos of the day are going to be on YouTube. I may do one more here on Facebook. Um, but. The next video will be 7.30 p.m. on my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Melody Lane. And we're going to do, that's my maker Q&A, right? There's so much going on. I'm getting confused. Thank you, Callie, my assistant, for helping so much. So 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to have a maker Q&A. So you can ask questions. I will answer them through Design Space. I can answer them on the machine. I can show you both in the video to help answer questions. If you have any questions at all about the maker, I'm here to answer them for you. And then at nine o'clock, right? <laughs> she just told me this. We are going to be making this box and I think a few other boxes. These boxes do not need any acetate. There are cook. Oh, sorry. They are acetate, but there's no need for adhesive. They have little tabs and they stick in here. There is no adhesive on this box. Um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, so in that video, I'm going to show you, um, we'll be scoring with the scoring wheel and showing you how to put these together. This one was a little difficult, so I'm gonna to have to practice a little bit before that video starts. But there are some cookies in here. Two of these flavors of cookies. These are not just golden Oreo cookies. There's two surprise flavors in here I've never tasted. There's also strawberry shortcake. I don't know if I've actually tasted that one. But we're going to do a taste test with this video with my son, Beard Adventures, on YouTube Tube. He's going to sit with me after we make up these boxes, and we're going to do a taste test to see how they taste. Um, Callie, when Alex went to go get the cookies, Callie, he came home, and Callie, my assistant, is like, oh, gross. So we'll see. We're going to see what happens. I think they might be good, but I don't know. So here's this box. That will be 9 p.m. Eastern time, correct? That's, I cannot remember these times. So today, right now, we're going to make this card. So I've given this card out to uh, people who support my channel. This is the Live, Love, Laugh card file. I uh, made, I just changed the old card file just a little bit. So this one is in the same place as where you get the old one, but it's underneath it. And it says acetate. You cannot score acetate on the Explore machines, but you can score acetate on the maker with the scoring wheel. Okay. 
So we're going to see the score, the scoring wheel in action on this acetate to make this cart. And we got some different colors. We're going to use some Anna Griffin paper from Cricut. Some purple and yellow. It's really pretty. All right. So are you guys ready to get started? Okay. I'm reading the chat. Oh, that is a great question. Jan asked, will the box with the cookies be on your Patreon file? No, none of these boxes with no adhesive will be on my Patreon list because they're all in access. I'm not modifying these images at all. I only share images that I modify and I'm not modifying. They're straight into access. Uh, if you don't have access, I'm not sure if they're there because I have access. So sometimes there's exclusive, but I don't think these are. I think these are for everybody, um, but only free for access members. If you don't have access, there's probably a fee. To find, if you want to go ahead and look at these uh, images, here's another one I'm going to put together and we'll put some together live too. Um, go into design space. Click on new, click on new project, click on images, click on cartridges and search scoring. And it will be one of those new cartridges that work with the scoring wheel. You can use them on cardstock or other things too with just the scoring stylus. Where's the link for the maker? Let me post that for you. You buy the acetate from Cricut. So I will put a link in that, um, in the chat and we'll probably add those to the video description. All right, so let's get over. And let me see. Here is the paper that I'm using. This is the Anna Griffin Deluxe Amelia Melange <laughs> paper pack from Cricut. And I'll put the link to this in the description. Right, Callie? <laughs> the Anna Griffin Deluxe, it's the purple and yellow one. So we'll put a link to that in the description too. All right, let's get over. Um, actually, let's go to Design Space. Okay, I have this set up. This is ready to cut my acetate, but let's load the mat. Okay, so these I have already cut out. I have extra butterflies because you can layer them. I don't know if I'm gonna layer them though. I just might put some purple and other ones. So, um, We'll put a link to the clear acetate, or you can use foil acetate too. And on the mat, it lays this way. So I'm going to put this up here. And all of the acetate has a clear film on it. You want to pull that clear film off first. Okay, this isn't ready yet. Let's go back to design space. And I'm going to click continue. This is the only piece we're actually going to cut. Mary's asking, do you score on the backside of the acetate or paper when you cut? It depends on what you're scoring. On the acetate, it's we're, we're folding both sides, so it doesn't really matter. Um, on the glitter paper and the foil poster board. You put pretty side down when using it. Okay. Acetate. I This acetate, oh, yep, it's telling me load the single scoring wheel. So let's go load the single scoring wheel. Oh, that's the double one. 
So I'm gonna change the scoring wheel. To change it, you just push this down and that will fall off. To put it back on, I just turn it until it fits and then push this in and it will go in when you push this down, okay? Now we're gonna move this up. I did have the rotary tool in there. Earlier we cut fabric and made a love album. Okay, and we're ready to load. So let's push this. And then it's going to detect the blade. Oh, I have to hit go first. Hi, Donna. You cannot make it with the Explore Air with the acetate. The Acetate will not score with a regular scoring stylus. Okay, so now it's scored. So now we have to change this to the regular fine point blade, the one that comes with it. And I want to put more pressure. I don't remember if I did that or not. And I don't have the option to do that. So what I'm going to do is after this goes, I want it to cut again. So I'm going to go ahead. Instead of unloading, I'm going to hit the C button to cut it again. Kelly, can you put a link to purchase access in the video? Jerry's asking for that. I get credit when you go through any of my links and then buy something else off the website too. Okay, so now this is blinking to unload the mat. I don't trust it because with acetate, it's harder to cut. I'm going to hit the C button again. The C button is going to start blinking again, and I am, oh, it wants to do the scoring wheel again, and I don't want, I don't need to score it again, so, oh, it, it won't do it without the scoring wheel. So I'm just going to go ahead and score it again, because I'm, want it to cut again. I usually just put more pressure on it and it works fine. Yes, my maker is on uh, what used to be a printer stand. Hi, Kiona. Did we post an acetate link? Yes. Okay. It's in the pinned comment and... Okay, look in the pinned comment 
And in the description, there is a link to the acetate and the paper that we're using. So if you miss the changing of this, it's so easy to change your blade. Yay, Tammy just ordered the maker. Uh, the side step star <laughs> if I could speak, the side step card is in Patreon. There's a few different ones. Uh, if you support my channel on Patreon, you can get it in the files by type and then scroll down to step cards and it's there. Penny, I didn't even look for the option for more pressure. I think I had it and I just wasn't thinking. Okay, now we're unloading. Looks good. Okay. All right. These little boxes I made with my Cricut Maker, too. Okay, let's take this off the mat. Okay, this is a really sticky mat. When you find things are really sticky, this is a brand new green mat. What I do is I push this under here and move my wrist back and forth. I did not condition the mat. And maybe I should have. Okay, let's, okay, you go away. This is leftover, we'll say for scraps. Alrighty, we got it. I can remember which way it goes, this way. Okay, put this out of the way. So for this card, it has a slit here. So this is gonna be really hard to see it until I actually fold it. This side gets fold this way, but then this side gets fold the opposite way. So this is a mountain fold on the side, and I know this is really hard to see, and a valley fold on the other side of the slit. Can you see how that is? So it has a little side here and a bigger side here. So this is the mountain fold I just did. And then, oh, you know what? Oh yeah, this is the valley fold I just did. It's way down here at the bottom. Because these lines, when you separate them out flat, these lines are across. So this is the bottom one, valley, and this is mountain. And then you do every other one the opposite. So this is a valley. So this one here would be a mountain. 
Oh, Callie, can you get me the red tape? It's actually right there and that glue right there. And then on the other side of the valley one, we're gonna do a mountain one and then a valley one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and a mountain. Once you do it, it's not hard, and if you do fold it the wrong way, you can flip it and fold it the other way too. Yes, this I am using Cricut Clear Acetate. This is actually the old Cricut Clear Acetate that used to come in a smaller size. Okay, so we're going to glue these letters on here. So with this file, I made this piece here and then I um, cut these out. And uh, when I did this before, I actually used vinyl for these letters so they would be perfect on here. And then you could just attach it with vinyl with a piece of transfer tape. Okay, I'm gonna lay these down. So those of you who have never worked with paper, here's your chance to watch. So I'm just gonna pick one up at a time. I'm using May May Made It's Art Glitter Glue. And there should be a little border around each letter. This is the way I made the card. But of course, you can do anything you want. I used a font. I don't know what font this is. Um, I made this three years ago. I used a Cricut font that had a border around it. And I separated the border. I think I have a video on how to make this. I separated the border border of the font and I welded that border of the font to this rectangle. So I'm just putting just a teeny bit of glue. You really don't need much glue. If you do spill out the glue, it dries clear but you don't need to cover the whole thing in glue. And what I like about it is if it's not in the perfect place, you can still move it around. You have time for it to move. Okay, I'm gonna to try to see some of your chat. It's hard to read the chat and craft at the same time. Okay, that was the longest word and now I've glued it to the mat. So where is everybody from? Oh, Mary, yes, you could use the Xyron. The Xyron sticker maker. I just get in the habit of certain things. I used to use the Xyron all the time. Okay, we're almost done with this part. I know this part's boring. 
The sale on the maker bundles is only 12 hours. So there's not 12 hours left. It's only until midnight tonight. If you know you wanted one for Christmas from somebody, tell them they have to buy it now. And if you use my code, Makerversary, no, happy birthday, no. no. <laughs> what is it? Maker birthday. Maker birthday ML. Make sure you add the ML to be entered to win a premium access one year subscription. And what time is it? It's 4.42 Eastern time. So if you're watching the replay of this, make sure you get it before midnight Eastern on August 21st, 2018. Okay, that didn't really take long, did it? Okay. Um, glue doesn't stick to acetate really well. So I'm just using this red line tape. And here's my picket scissors. I'm just gonna cut you don't need a whole lot for this so the red line tape if you've never used it is two double-sided tape that's really really sticky and you put it on that's only one-sided but then you pull off this little red piece and if you push it on really good then it's easier to pull off the red film So how many of you learned something from one of my earlier videos today on YouTube? I've done three videos, I think. Was it three, Kelly? Yeah, I think so. Three? three? Yeah. So this one is the bottom one. It's the shortest one. And I'm going to place it here. And then the next one. I'm going to cut that piece off and not use it. I, it got stuck, a piece of paper stuck to it. So it's not going to work. Callie, can you hand me my love book? Here's something I did earlier where I used my easy press on fabric and ironed it on to chipboard. So I did that complete start to finish, except for the chipboard I had cut out because that takes so long. Sure you press this on really good before trying to take the film off or it just doesn't come off you peel all the tape off okay so i'm going to put this in the second one I'm lining it up just under the top of the fold. And we had the Cricut right, it wrote on here with one of the medium black pens. I'm 
get more red tape and making a mess of it. Let me cut that piece off. Has anybody watching, has anyone here watching live bought my maker bundle? The rose or the champagne one today with the bundle deal? This is great for Canadians who, they had this deal on HSN, but Canadians were not able to buy it. And now they can, because they get free shipping from Cricut. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one. In here. Okay, so now we're going to put these on. I'm just going to cut tiny little pieces. Oh, you know what? I better put the cap. You got to put the pin in the glue so it doesn't dry out. If I hold it right, I can do it. There. Let's put some butterflies on it. I'm just going to cut a small strip. So I'm going to put it on the back in the middle of the butterfly. Thank you for subscribing. Gonna do a yellow one. Let's do a medium one. Or is this the same size? I lost it. me <laughs> excuse me Oh, this is too long. Uh oh. Okay. Go down there. Don't stick to my fingernail. That one's not even sticky. I have them all over my fingers. That's where I'm losing them to. And let's do another little yellow one. Okay, that one doesn't have sticky. The sticky is on my thumbnail. All right, let's go ahead and start getting these on. So you can stick these on any way you want. Another big one. 
You learned how to cook with the Easy Press? If you missed it today, we made cinnamon roll sandwiches and we made chicken quesadillas with the Easy Press. We could stick, let's stick one over here and I can use glue for that. Glue's so much easier. I'm just gonna stick it over here. Should probably stick a yellow one here. I'll stick a yellow one in the second one. Love butterflies. Okay, now this does fold up. You can fold it flat. So it does fold flat, so you can put it in an envelope. But it looks so pretty. Like this is not only a card to give to somebody, it's also a decoration. Isn't that cool? And it's so much cooler in person, actually. Do you guys like this project? Do you like the colors? Do you like it with acetate? Give me some love if you like it. All right, I'm gonna come over here and read some of the questions or comments. Kiona wants a lilac maker. Are you listening, Cricket? Lilac maker. What kind of glue is that? Let me put the lid back on. I'll put a link to the glue in the pinned post. Uh, this is art glitter glue. This was actually, this gold bottle was a special fundraiser, I think, for St. Jude's. So some of the profits went to St. Jude's. Thanks for all the bless yous. All right, guys. <laughs> yes, a lot of people want a lilac maker. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you missed any of the videos, they're all posted in my event. There's going to be a little more giveaways in the event too. So make sure you have joined. Uh, the dogs are here sleeping. One is sleeping over here. They got groomed yesterday, so they got pretty. All right, guys, thank you so much. And remember, that Maker Bundle ends tonight at midnight Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Mountain Time. You cannot get that Maker Bundle at that price again. I don't know when it will ever be available again. I wouldn't expect it to be available on Black Friday. I'm letting you know. There are tariffs the president put in place, and things from China are going to be taxed. I see everything that is made in China going up and almost everything in the United States that is sold in the United States almost is made in China. So prices for things are going to start going up. So I can't imagine having this sale again. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you. The next video is at 730 for the maker Q&A. So if you have questions on the maker, come there. I will answer them. And 9 p.m., we have the little um, acetate boxes where you need no adhesive and a little taste test. And that's at 9, right? Yeah. So the, that might be it. Or if we decide to do more, there might be more. I know Lori Nunemaker was going to do a video around 7 p.m. on Facebook, I believe. I'm not, or at uh, 6, not 7, if that's still happening. I think so. All right, guys, I love you.
thank you for being in the group and supporting each other. I love to see you guys helping others and answering questions for them. So I will see you later. Bye.